Hello friends. In our last lecture we saw insertion into a linked list at the beginning of the list. That is every time we inserted a new node the head node was updated because head node is the pointer to the first node in the linked list. So in this lecture we are going to see how we can insert a new node at the end of the linked lists. So insertion at the beginning was uh, order one time. So or when we insert it at front it was O1 time because we just created a new node and whatever head was pointing to earlier so head was pointing to some node we just made head point to this new node and its next point to whatever head was pointing to the earlier list. So it was a constant time operation. And now we are inserting in the end. So we can do it in two ways. Either we keep a reference to tail also. So we will have reference to head and reference to tail. Or second case we don't have reference to tail or we are not allowed to keep another pointer for tail. So uh, if we have tail then it's again order one. Because suppose uh, this is our list. This is our existing list and head is pointing here and tail is pointing to the last node and this is null. So for inserting a new node we will create a new node put data here and we have reference to tail so this was the last node. So we will move this its next point to this new node and then this will become the tail node. So in this case head will not be up updated because uh, head is always pointing to first node and we are inserting in the end. So this again is order one time constant time. But if we are not allowed to keep a separate reference to tail, we just have head and then if this is our existing list, then it will be order n time. n is the number of nodes in the list and our head is pointing to the first node and we have to insert in the end. So what we will do? We will create a new node and then once it's created so earlier it will be pointing to phi nil so we will keep iterating head so we can keep a current pointer or current node n and in initialize to head node and keep moving next next till next is null so here next is present so we will again move to next now its next is null so we will stop here so currently this n, n is pointing to here. So effectively it's way to find the last node. So now its next is null. So we will set its next to this new node and we are done. So this operation will take order n time because every time we insert insert a new node we have to iterate through the whole list. So now we will see this in the code. 
so in the last oh, so this was insertion at the beginning in the last lecture we saw now we will create a separate function insert node at end and in one case we will use the tail node and in second case we will not use so let's initialize a tail and call it uh, using tail so I will also name this one T for using tail so first I need to create a new node with the given data now there are two cases once list was empty so uh, this will be the first time a node is inserted so uh, when list is empty uh, both head and tail both are pointing to null so this is the only time head will be updated to point to this node I said that in that case head will never be updated because we are inserting in the end but uh, in the base case when there are no nodes in the list that time only head will be updated so we need to add that case explicitly so if if head is not there then this new node will become the head and this will be non empty list case so head will not be updated here but what will we do so whatever tails tail is pointing to this la last node so its next will point to this node but if tail is null its next will be n will not exist so we, we just need to add this case when tail exists or when tail exists head will exist so in that case uh, tail next should point to this new node okay and in the end we will move this update this tail also tail will point to this last node and this is irrespective of whether the list was empty or not so that should do uh, so this was insertion at the beginning let's comment out these insert node at end I will insert same data 1 2 3 and I can use the print list function that we defined earlier so this will print now let's see so this was the case when we inserted in the beginning so better write it here and in this case it should be first I inserted one then I inserted 2 in the end then 3 in the end so it should print 1 to 3 compared to 3 to 1 when inserting at the beginning so let's run it so it prints 1 to 3 as expected now we will define another function where we will not use the tail pointer
and I will keep it so I will create a new node and in that case this will be true when head is not there make head point to this and will not touch it this condition again and we need a new node current is equal to head so this current will be updated so if list was empty we updated this and we are done if list is not empty then while current is there current we will keep moving next and then so if next node exists then we will keep moving next so in the last node its next will not exist and we will get out of this loop and we will make make the next of last node point to this node and this should work I will use this new function and let's see what it prints so again it prints 1 2 3 as expected so in this case we are not using tail so every time we iterate over the entire list so this will be o of 1 this will be O of N so this is how we insert nodes in the list in the end thanks for watching